In early December, Typhoon Bofa struck the Philippines, with the island of Mindanao being the worst hit. Upon arriving at the disaster site, city volunteers saw the devastation caused by the storm. Although the United Nations has provided rights to the survivors, tents and medicine are still urgently needed. As city volunteers carry out their disaster survey, they also held a free clinic, hoping to provide immediate assistance to the survivors. Witnessing the devastation caused by Typhoon Bofa in southern Philippines, city volunteers are shocked. It is hard to imagine that what was once a village is now completely buried underground. There was a shelter where a thousand people stayed. It was also buried by the must lie. This place changed a lot. There was a road with houses on both sides. These stones are not supposed to be here. There is supposed to be a street in this direction. City volunteers in Manila went to Compostela Valley Province to conduct a disaster survey where 50,000 houses were damaged. 10,000 hectares of banana farms were all damaged and the shelters for the survivors were also ruined. Inside the town, the survivors live against the broken walls with tents covering as their only roof. I can only rely on the relief items because I have lost my job. During the storm, we ran out of the house because we were afraid that trees might fall on the house. The head of the town said they need food, tents and medicine. The United Nations has promised to provide rice to the residents for six months. However, it will require at least a year to rebuild their homes. Davao Oriental Province was another hard-hit province in which city volunteers from Zamboanga conducted a disaster survey. The medical personnel with the volunteers held a free clinic in the local church. Most of the patients they saw had infected wounds and several infants were running a fever. The volunteers were busy at the free clinic from morning to midnight and saw a total of 1,000 people. Following the disaster survey, the city chapter in the Philippines plans to carry out an aid distribution soon. Local Taiwanese businessmen also promised to help the survivors get through these difficult times.